Hello everyone, it's Mike from Mike's Critters coming to you with another animal. The next one or two animals, we're going to go back to Creepy Crawly being Halloween. I have kind of an oddball type of uh, boa constrictor here. Boas are in the snake family and that means they are a reptile. And as we've been learning, cold blood, scaly skin and a backbone. This one is a Solomon Island ground boa. Solomon Islands are obviously a group of islands in the South Pacific, tropical islands. And this is a small type of boa constrictor. Boas are typically New World, which is kind of North and South America, but they have them in parts of Europe, Asia, and South Pacific, and there's a few in Africa as well. So this one is a few years old. It is an adult. And when you look at it, its colors are perfect for hiding on the ground amongst the leaf litter. So camouflage is this animal's number one protection. And it's going to hide, you know, it will go under rocks and logs and things like that too, under leaves. I don't know how much of a hunter this animal is, but having this great coloration... I might assume it's a little bit of an ambush predator, which means it's going to sit lying in wait for its food to come to it. And I kind of always compare us as an ambush predator when we order pizza. You're not cooking it. You're not hunting it. You're waiting for it to come to you. So this guy at my house, he eats small mice. All snakes are carnivores means they only eat meat. In the wild, this little guy is probably going to eat lizards, little geckos and maybe skinks running around on the island, maybe amphibians like frogs, maybe a big bug, that's a possibility, and little rodents if it can catch them. I always point out snakes have the ability of swallowing food three times the size of their head. That is comparable to us swallowing a basketball. It's impossible for us. Snakes can engulf large food. And they learn differently than other animals. Notice it keeps sticking its tongue out. It's tasting the air to learn what other animals are around. Wants to know if danger is around or dinner. And being a smaller species of snake, I do find it to be more defensive than another one. When you're kind of smaller, you got to kind of be a little bit more aggressive to scare things away, I believe. It is a boa, and I think we had a boa out not too long ago. Boa constrictors do not lay eggs. They give birth to live babies, miniature replicas of the parents. And we do have a boa in British Columbia, the rubber boa. It is illegal to have as a pet in British Columbia because it can naturally be found here. Lives in the mountains in the Fraser Valley, up into Hope, and maybe, well, I believe into the interior too. Washington State has them, and I think Oregon might. So a rubber boa is illegal here in British Columbia, but if you live in Alberta, I believe you're allowed to keep one there because it's not native there. I hope that makes sense. So hope you enjoyed meeting an oddball boa constrictor. That is a dwarf species. And you can see it's not very big. Thanks again. And we're going to do one more video for you guys today.